today I'm cooking some mango curry and gurumba and we are starting with the mango curry uh, so what I have here I have some nice steamed mangoes ready to cook uh, so what I have here also I'm cooking it on the fireside chula I have some oil in here and now I'm going to put some jeera and I'm toasting my jeera first I like to toast up the jeera first for, for this and I also have some curry leaves right here from the garden. I'll put that in here. I can't see anything. I'm putting in stuff, so you. I'm putting in some some onions in there and also some garlic. It's been so long since I had mango curry or mango tapari. So I'm excited about this dish, guys. I'm so excited about this. The last time I had a mango curry was in Guyana. This is some, guys, this is some ground up, ground up hot pepper we'll put in there. And uh, we, what we have here is some masala curry powder and just some ground cumin cumin is jeera also uh, so I'll put that in here to start to cook up and this is for the curry guys for the curry mango so what I'm doing now is just I'm just let this masala um, and the curry powder and it and uh, jeera just bunje in here in this nice fire heat. A little bit of water to keep cooking the masala. Oh man, the guys, it smells delicious. I'm cooking this mango curry more like Guyanese style. And it really cooked down there nicely. I go through there or something to sit on it. Some pepper in there as well. Oh gosh, that's so good. It's been so long since I cooked mango curry. I love it. As well as just some shallows, scallions, and um, some thyme and green seasoning from the garden. And this is sometimes just from the garden. I want all that to cook really well before I put the mangoes or the mangoes in because it's already steamed to get some of the sourness out. So now we're gonna mix it up. Mean it. Guys, this is so wonderful being out here in the backyard cooking. I've never actually cooked in this area. So I'm so excited, it's like exploring the yard. And oh man, I wish you can smell. I'm making, I'm cooking the curry well done before I put the mangoes in there. So nice that's looking, look, you see? Mm. You're not burning the masala, you're not burning the curry, you're just cooking it right. So now, this is all the mangoes. So we'll go ahead and put our mangoes in. I 
And I'm adding some salt to taste. Add a little bit of sugar. You also add sugar. Listen. Oh, this looks so yum. Beautiful color. Perfect color. In, in Trinidad, my friends call this mango takari. And, uh, oh man, and so delicious. Right, so I'm using some Borbis masala in Borbis when they cook their mango curry. Oh man, it's nice and dark like this. I like it like this. In Trinidad also, their mango curry is there or the mango takari is darker. Um, I know in Trinidad I use the achar masala. So you can use that as well. But what I'm using is the Borbis masala. Now, um, it's already half cooked. So I just need a little bit water. So I'm using some hot water. Just to cook it a little bit more. Let it come to a boil actually. It's coming to a boil so we just cover it and let it cook faster. Look, check it out. Look, it's coming to a boil. So now we're gonna just cover this, cover it up. Check on, let's check on our mango curry. Ah, it's boiling up nice. Look at that. Very nice, very nice. Just about, uh, maybe another five minutes and it's finished. Guys, so we switch a little bit. We are moving, we are moving the, the continuing on the mango upstairs and because we we'll lose the, we'll lose the light out there is about sunset. So now we are going to make the gorumba and let it cook nicely out here. And so we're just setting up another set. We went and washed our pot and now we're going to start. Oh man, I mean, hi guys. So I'm continuing the cooking. The mango is cooking more upstairs. And what we're doing now is making some gurumba, Guyanese gurumba. So I have some nice half ripe mangoes here all chopped up and with the skin on. And what I have here is some cinnamon, some star anise. You can actually ground that up if you want. And also some clove. I love to put cloves in mine. And some um, jeera or cinnamon um sorry so uh, uh cumin so what i'm gonna do i like to toast this up first before i put the oil in to start the cooking so now i'm gonna put the cinnamon in here some clove like look close uh, and i'm also putting some jeera to toast up and some star anise so i'm gonna just stir this let this bring up nice oh you know what I'll also put an all-spice leaf. So let's go in the garden and grab an all-spice leaf real quickly. <laughs> Alright guys, so I have some all-spice leaves here which is great for this dish as well. So put some fresh all-spice leaves. Put like about two. Check it out, all spice leaves, guys. All right, let's run back. <laughs> you don't push all of them. Uh, we're back with me here. Give it a quick, quick rinse. Now we're gonna put it in there. And uh, charge these guys up. The oil. To 
try to cook our meal or cook the gurumba. Guys, so for gurumba, you don't need garlic, you don't need onions, you don't need any green seasoning. What I have here is some jeera and and um, jeera and masala, and this is some black pepper. I like gurumba a little spicy, so I'll put a little bit pepper as well in it. I have here is some ground up pepper. It's not it's not very hot pepper. It's flavorful. Okay, in here. So I put that in there. And then I'll put all this as well in there. The masala, the jeera, and everything too so nice. Oh my gosh, the smell in here is so, the aroma in this backyard is wonderful. So now I'm gonna put in the mangoes in there. as well because this is a, a sweet dish you add sugar and then uh, adding sugar and then you mix it up and then you add water and let it cook down there guys let it cook until it's soft Gorumba. Cinnamon. Very good. Okay. So now, guys, I'm going to put some water in there, hot water. It's a little darker too because I'm using the brown sugar. But look how nice this is boiling up. It smells great, like a nice dessert. Oh, with a little jeera, little um, masala, and the black pepper. Ooh, gosh, and that cinnamon, it really, really smells nice. Hi guys, so the mango curry is finished. Check it out. Look how nice that's looking. Nice color. I love the color. And so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to, for finishing touches, I'm going to just put a little bit of roasted jeera or cumin. So I'm just putting in a little bit of roasted cumin. Now we're gonna mix that in. Oh man, it's so good. Nice pieces, nice pieces, soft. And I have a little gravy in there because this sauce will get into the mango as well. So you wanna take it down with a little bit of gravy or sauce. So this is finished guys, check it out, check it out. Our mango curry is finished. Or it's like the mango takar. Gorumba is finished. Well, it needs about 10, 10 more minutes or 20 more minutes just to cook down some water. It's soft already, so whatever the heat cooks it will be perfect. But look at this because I need a little gravy, I need a little sauce with it. We made our sweet bread to go with this. Some sweet bread and it's perfect with roti, paratha roti, sada roti. So good and it's delicious as a treat by itself. Mosquitoes are coming out. See it there, Tommy?
so I'll just close it off guys and leave it and like I said 10 more minutes I feel it just 10 more minutes I need gravy I need gravy hi everybody so I'm cutting up some bread and this is sweet bread to go with gurumba guys I'm sending over some for my neighbor it's sweet bread going in for the gurumba um, we cooked some gurumba last night some gurumba last night and I want my neighbors to try as well so that's what we are doing here taking out um, some bread it's like pepper pot guys but we're using bread so bread and um, bread and uh, Gurumba and uh, so and um, Salara as well. I'm sending over some Salara. Check out the Salara, guys! So nice and juicy. The Salara is it is in the fridge, so right now it's cold. So I'm just cutting, and this is the Salara with the with the um this milk. So I'm sending some of that, and also sending some of the other Salara without condensed milk. But look how delicious, look at that. 